Okay, so we talked about a couple themes already of themes of geography. We talked about location, we talked about place, right? Yeah. The third one we're going to talk about is, and I want you to write this down in your notebook, in your notes, is is movement. All right, so go ahead and write movement. And I'll give you the definition as soon as you have that written down. Okay, the definition of movement in terms of geography is it's the movement of, let me give you a list of things, so get ready. Start writing that part down at least. Movement of people. Goods. Ideas. Animals. <clears throat> plants. And other physical features. Okay? Movement of people, goods, ideas, animals, plants, and other physical features. All right? And that is from one place to another. Sorry, the little recording thing is in the way. From one place to another. The movement of people, goods, ideas, animals, plants, and other physical features from one place to another. And there are some main ideas that I want to talk to you about with regard to movement. Some terms you need to know. Okay? One of them is yeah, to migrate. Migrate means to move from one area and settle in another. To move from one area and settle in another. You guys have heard of migration before. Yeah. When have you heard of migration? Birds. Birds. What else? Well, is it different? What is an immigrant? Or what does it mean to immigrate? Eliana. Isn't that what we just said? To move from one area and settle in another? So it's not quite immigrate. You said part of what immigrate is. Immigrate means it's the latter half of this, to settle in a new area, to move into a new area. And I wrote, I actually have that on here. Immigrate means to move into. The opposite of that, it's not actually the opposite, it's part of the same process. Migrating has two parts. Where you're coming from, moving from one area and settling in another area. Okay, so the emigrate part is moving out of. So anytime someone migrates, they're doing both immigrating and emigrating. If you came from, if you migrated from Russia to the United States, you emigrated from Russia and immigrated to the United States. Okay, now these two words here Right now, you don't have to worry so much about getting any of that mixed up. It's just stuff you need to know, but it's, those aren't essentials right now. The, these two terms, though, are essentials. Push and pull factors. This is the why people move. Why people move. Push and pull factors. To migrate is the movement part. Migrating is the movement. Push and pull factors are why people move. Okay? Now, I think everybody here has moved before in their lives. Everybody moved. Everybody here has moved at some point in their lives. Does anyone disagree? Raise your hand. I know I'm just asking you if you've ever moved before. If you have not moved, raise your hand if you think you have not moved. Okay, Ronald thinks he hasn't moved. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's first talk about why people move. First, let's talk about push factors. Let me get this out of your way. 
Push factors are the negative things about the place you are leaving that make you want to leave. It's the bad things about the place that you're at that make you want to leave that place. Okay? When we're talking about countries, those might be things like poverty, overcrowding, a lack of jobs, lack of schooling, prejudice, war, political oppression, religious oppression, things like that. Those are push factors that make people want to leave a place. When we're talking about countries, those are reasons that people would want to leave a country to go to another. Okay, But you can talk about this on a much smaller scale too. The reason I said that everybody has moved here is because we move on smaller scales also. Has anyone ever here ever changed rooms in their house? Mm -hmm. Rebecca, why did you switch rooms? Because her room was too small. I mentioned that as one of the push factors. Do you remember what I said? Overcrowding. Right? It's the negative thing about her room, her old room, that made it so she wanted to leave. Or made it so her parents wanted her to move, right? Now the opposite of the opposite of pull push factors are pull pull factors. We'll talk about those in a second. Do you have another comment about push factors? Oh, I was going to say about like about changing rooms for a different reason. Okay. I was going to say because my baby sister is born. What would that be? Well, so your baby sister was born. So what happened? So I moved into the to a different room. And then she moved into my old room. So maybe it's more overcrowding. Oh, yeah. Right? Maybe? Mm. Right? Was that was it location because your I mean was it because of the location that your parents wanted her to be Yeah, cuz um that room was smaller. So. Okay. So yeah. Might be because you're getting bigger. The baby doesn't need as much room, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. okay? Uh, yes. Well, I actually have two. <laughs> yes, because when my big brother, my little, uh, my little brother was born again, because because I wanted to move because my grandma she used to live with us because we had a guest room. And then she moved down, so so her guest room was in the basement, so I wanted to move in the basement so I could have my room. Okay, so you have two things: a younger sibling was born, maybe overcrowding, but another thing was something else opened up to you that made you want to go down there. What was down there that made you want to? That would yeah, made you rather have that room. Bigger TV. We had a table down there. We had four couches and bar and, and it's a guest room with a clean side of bed and TV. And okay, so what Dewan was just explaining were pull factors. Look up here on the board what you, and see what you see. Positive things about the place you are going that make you want to come or make you want to go there. Okay. Okay. Almost always, I would say, I would guess that always. Or I'd venture to say that always there are push and pull factors. Anytime there's movement, there are push factors and pull factors. But most of the time, there's one that is more strong than the other. Like the biggest reason might be that there were pull factors. Like to one, like maybe even if there, if the baby wasn't born, if his grandmother left, he probably would move anyways. So there wouldn't be any push factors in that situation. But he certainly would have a pull factor. He's practically got his own apartment down in the basement. Right? Okay? Now, you can think of other times that you've moved. Has anyone ever been in a lock with sharing a locker with somebody, but then they had to switch locker partners or had to move from one locker to the next? Okay? Without mentioning any names, can you tell me the reason why you had to switch lockers? Noah? Okay, so there were classrooms. His classrooms were downstairs. His locker was upstairs. So what was the problem? Was it what was the negative thing about the place you were leaving? The locker you wanted to leave? Yeah, it was causing you to be late. Right? The distance was a push factor. The distance you'd have to travel. A lot of times you hear parents will say, "We're moving because." 
dad got a new job over here, it's closer to his work, or mom got a new job over here, it's closer, we don't have to travel as much. Saves money for gas. In your situation, you weren't worried so much about gas, you were worried more about being tardy. Yeah. Right? Okay. Any questions about push factors and pull factors? Yeah. When we're talking about countries, why people move from one country to the next, pull factors could be things like a higher standard of living in the, in the country you're going to, employment and educational opportunities, better job opportunities, better school opportunities, more rights, more freedom, maybe peace and safety. Sometimes people ask me to change their seats in class because people talk too much at their, at their table or because someone is bothering them or harassing them, whatever that might be. Okay? So these are small versions of what happens from one country to the next when people move from one country to the, to the next. Okay? Yes? Okay, so there was, you moved to a different school, What's, and uh, you're saying part of the reason was because your parents felt like this would be a, more, a better educational experience for you. Yeah, yeah, and then I was talking about when um, the girl moved, I thought there was an educational reason. Oh, right. Yeah, when there's someone asked to move their seat, it was for an educational reason. Right. Thank you. Okay. Yes? I have something about moving. When I was a baby, I used to sleep with my mom and dad's room in the crib, and then I moved out to the okay. Right, and what would you say? Was there a push factor involved, or was it a pull factor, or both? What would the push factor be? Both. What would you say what the push factor would be? Why did you move from that room to the next? I was getting older. Yeah, you're getting older, getting bigger, probably a little too crowded in your parents' room. Your parents probably wanted you the heck out of there, right? <laughs> right. All right, now, let's look at... When have you moved? Everyone has moved. Did you move from one house to the next? From one Raise your hand if you've moved from one country to the United States. Okay, look around, guys. All right, we have at least three people here who have emigrated from, not of what country were you? Thailand. Thailand, emigrated from Thailand, immigrated to the United States. Ronald? Azerbaijan emigrated from Azerbaijan, immigrated to the United States, and then Anna from the Ukraine, emigrated from the Ukraine, immigrated to the United States. We're pretty lucky. That's very diverse, right? So, how about from city to city? Anybody, or from one state to another state? Anybody start off living in another state besides Nada again? What state were you living in before? New York. New York to Michigan. All right. Um, Dewan, what state did you live in? Alabama. You moved to Michigan. Yes. Also from New York. Okay. Nada, do you happen to remember the push factors for you moving to the United States? Or the pull factors? Why your parents decided to move? Um, well, I don't remember because I was really little that time. Okay. Do your parents ever tell you why they decided to move? Okay, maybe you should ask them. Well, maybe you I know. All right, Ronald, why did your parents move? Because um, they thought America was a better country because they're free there, and at Azerbaijan, they weren't at free at Azerbaijan. Okay, so freedoms. So your parents, the, the push factor was there weren't many freedoms. Pull, fact, pull factor in the United States was that there were more. Right. Okay, what about from city to city? Did anyone ever move from city to city? A lot more hands going up. How about from within the city to another house? Within the city. Lot, several more hands going up. Okay. How many of you have removed from one room in your house to another room? Okay, several of you. How about from one school to the next? Shh. All right. What was the push factor? Uh, almost everyone, well, not almost everyone, several of you just this year moved to schools especially if you came from Burton. Several of you um, were here already 
at NOR, so you didn't have to move schools. But what would you say the push factor is for moving from Burton to NORUP? Juliet? They don't have a sixth grade, so educational opportunities. I would also say maybe overcrowding. If you guys stayed at Burton and added a sixth grade there and then a seventh grade, where would you go? We still have more kindergartners coming in every year, right? Okay, we, we talked about that though, right? Having to move seats, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Or lockers. Or, oops, I guess that's all I had on there. All right, your homework, yes. Right. Everybody's moved in one form or fashion. Sometimes we've moved on large scales from country to country. And sometimes it's small scale. Shh. Your homework assignment, guys. Does anyone have any questions about movement yet, though? No, questions about what it means, things like that. Do you have any questions about that can help you understand this better? Yes. Can movement be just like walking from one room to another? Yes. Yet when you switch classes, that's a form of movement. Go from one place to the next. There are other, remember, let me go back here for a second. See if I can go back. Remember at the beginning, what I'll, I'll just say from the beginning. Remember at the beginning what I said is the movement of people, goods. So when you're transporting goods from one place to another, that's movement. Ideas, when ideas spread, <coughs> ideas are shared, that's movement. Right? I'm sharing ideas with you right now. I'm moving ideas. You're going to take those with you. They're now a part of you, right? And when you bring them home and share them with your parents, what your homework assignment is, you're moving ideas around. Movement of animals. Either when humans do that or when they move by themselves, when they migrate. Birds migrating, butterflies migrating, that's movement. Okay? Even other physical features where we talked about... Um, like the, the movement of the tectonic plates. Continents moving gradually apart or closer to each other, right? Plants, the spread of plant life. That's movement. Okay? Your homework is going to focus, though, on your own movement. Your homework will be to describe a time that you moved. So you need to describe a time that you have moved... It could be one of those small versions that I told you about or a large version. Moving from one seat in, in a classroom to the next. You could even describe a time that you were sitting at your dinner, the dinner table at, during a holiday with your, with your extended family. And you were sitting at the kids' table and you guys were getting all rowdy and your parents told you, quiet down, quiet down, and then they made you move away from your cousin that you guys always cause trouble together, right? Shh, hold on. Okay? So I want you to describe a time that you moved and you need to des describe what the push and pull factors were. You can use your notes to remember what push and pull factors were. This will be online so you can go back and listen to this if you need to. Okay? And I will also have the definitions on the website.